Today, we're removing and replacing the solar panels from the camper van that we put on with Velcro, and we'll also see how the unique method of attaching them works over time and if it holds up. This is part of a long-running solar power series that we've got going on here. If at any time you want more information on any individual part, I've done some video highlights on most of them. The playlist for the whole electrical system is in the video description. Alongside that, any parts that I mention also have an Amazon link below. It gives me bonus points if you buy it through that. In the solar panel installation video, we attach the panels without drilling any holes or anything by using industrial strength Velcro. Then we taped in the sides with white Gorilla Tape. Now it looks really nice in this clip. If you'll recall in one of the very first videos, the first week that I was on the road, the solar power stopped working which is of course bad news for all the sort of reasons that a power outage is bad. After testing each panel and going through the entire electrical system, I figured out that two of the four panels were dead. They didn't produce any type of charge, and since my panels were wired in series, it dragged the entire system down. So, let's see about taking these two broken panels off. Here I am on top, replacing this panel and the back one. For the ones that aren't connected, I'm getting a good voltage through the through A and C, but B and D are not working. So what I'm doing is I'm ripping up the tape here. You can see it's just dirt from the tape. It leaves a bit of tape residue too, but that's nothing that just doesn't come off with uh, some rubbing alcohol and some scrubbing. It's really not that bad. There's dirt here. The Velcro's holding pretty strong. In fact, it might be a pain to uh, get the two things off. We'll see. Yeah, the Velcro is super strong. <sighs> I'm not really sure how I'm going to get it all off without even breaking the panels. It's kind of a bummer. It probably would have been just easier to drill holes in and uh, attach it like that, but who knows. One way that's actually kind of good is the, the back end of a fork. You can kind of get in and uh, break the Velcro seals. So I got the two edges off, and then you just pull up. Oof. I mean, it's still super pretty clean over here. The only things that are not clean are the little bits of dirt that got in on the corners and uh, the residual of the tape. And that'll come off with uh, rubbing alcohol and some scrubbing. Otherwise, it's in perfect condition. It's a lot of, a lot of wasted, not wasted, but dirty, broken tape. You can see it kind of loses its adhesion after a little while, but it lasted for over six months. So this is definitely a pretty ch cheap solution, although not permanent. In retrospect, maybe I would have liked to, uh, it's kind of windy out. In retrospect, maybe I would have liked to bolt them down and made a more permanent solution, but this works for now. You got one more panel to do. A screwdriver to break the Velcro seal this time. And that's the second one, all set, off to ship them away. There were a couple times on the road trip up here when I was like, oh man, I hope the solar panels are okay, I hope they don't fly off, I, you know, I, I felt maybe some weird wind, and I was like, oh, maybe that's, uh, solar panels coming loose. Nothing would pull these loose. <laughs> this, uh, I way overdid it. You maybe need half, maybe even less, Maybe 25% of the Velcro that I put on here to just keep it on. I don't even think I'm going to need the tape on the edges. I mean, that makes it a little bit more aerodynamic, but I'm going to test it. But geez, I'm telling you. And we've got a trusty IKEA furniture box to use to ship the panels back to HQST. Now, this company doesn't pay me or anything, but I've got to say, they're great about quality. The panels are in great condition, and... They replaced the two broken panels at no cost to me, no questions asked. They even paid for the return shipping label. Links for all of their stuff are in the description below, along with every other piece uh, that you can need for the entire solar system. And now that I've spent the whole day taking the panels off and getting them into the mail, uh, the next video is putting up the new ones and reattaching them to the solar setup.
If you want more info about how to set up solar power for your own van or tiny house or even a regular house, the playlist for those videos is in the video description below. Let me know if you have any questions. I'm not, a, I'm not an electrical doctor, so take what I say with a grain of salt, but I can probably answer some simple questions.